Okay, Bobby, a uh, frustrating defeat right at the death for you against Long Eaton. Is it fair to say that is a sort of typical game of two halves today? Yeah, I know they had one last week as well, but they've come out on the right side of it this week. First half, we were just we were still on the bus, like we were miles away. We knew that um, just individually from 1 to 11, we just weren't. Weren't at the races, I don't, I'm not saying lack of trying, it was just too, the spaces were too big, weren't and close enough to each other, gave the ball away in silly areas, which allowed them to turn us round and get, they must have had six, seven corners in the first 10, 15 minutes. Um, and, you know, they just, it was coming, the goals, shame to concede, bang on half time again, soft goal, but second half, it was like us, that was a performance that typifies us all season, really, on the main. And that's the reason why we sat second, because of that second half performance. And then to lose it at the end, with debatable free kick, but a bit of quality. One of them, take it on the chin. And we'll use, um, how do I put it? The atmosphere coming off the pitch, we'll use that. Yeah, I was just going to say, what was the message at full time? Because after conceding five minutes of the time, you, you know, the, the mood must feel back down. Yeah, disappointed. Um, but again, you, we've spoke about it all season. You can never get too down about it. We have to take the positives from it. Individually, people need to be better. Uh, first half, second half, much better. Uh, created umpteen opportunities at the bar a couple of times. And, Probably could have got nicked, nicked a point at the end, but is what it is. And when, when I, w I won't go on about it. You know, we we put ourselves in the position we have because we've been consistent over thirty odd games. So we need to get back to what we were doing maybe a couple of weeks ago, like we did that second half. That was the heaven team that me and Mark have set the standard for, and I think everyone knew what the job was and people were closer to each other and you could see that we could you know you could have gone and scored four or five second half so it's pleasing that we'll take the positives from it but Tuesday is a big game now and obviously the games around us again have have helped and so we're listen workshop have gone and won the league today congratulations to them being the best side over the season can't you can't take that away from them but we're in a position to finish runners-up in this league. And this is a tough league with some good teams. As you've seen today, two good teams going at it. And we've come out on the wrong side of it. Yeah, several changes today. Muzza operating in several rules. Um, Hara getting a start first in quite a while. So just what's the thing behind that? We just need to look after everyone. It's been a long season. And we're coming into a vital, vital area and you know period of the season where we need to look after people. people. A lot of people have played a lot of minutes and we've got some big games coming up. And I think what we got left, eight games. So everyone, we said on Thursday before training that everyone's going to be used. And we saw that today. And then Tuesday again, people will be, you know, we've got devs back now. So it's nice, it'll be nice on Tuesday to freshen it up again. You've already mentioned the league positions and teams around us. The, the fact that you know, Long Eaton were fourth, we were second, and you know it is a possible possibility that we could play each other in the playoffs. So is it at this point in the sense that we have, you know, been defeated twice by them? Uh, first game, we had a lot of lads unavailable, and they dominated us really, and we gave sloppy goals away. We were in that period where we, everything we did went wrong. Today, you could see second half that what we're about and. They're, they're up there for a reason, they're, they're a good side. So we can't come here and just think because we're second, they're fourth, that you can turn up and win. That's not how football works at any level. So we, we've said in the dressing room, we use today as a bit of fuel, coming off the pitch a little bit, and we'll use that. And you never know, come what end of April, we may be playing each other again. Yeah, and just a, a word on the supporters today, our longest trip this season, 320 miles in total. And very, very good support, so just how pleased I with that. Thank you. That's the, that's the only word, word you can say, really. Brilliant. They have been all season, and we're going to stick at it. And, you know, I'd like to think we're doing the club proud. You know, just have to look where they've come from this season. 
uh, last season, sorry, to where we are now in a short space of time. And I think people need to take stock of that, relax. And, you know, that dressing room's determined to take this club on to the next level. Yeah, if regular league games left and Shilden on Tuesday obviously cancelled last week, you know it's a former club with a 500 occurrences left, so just your thoughts going on that one? Looking forward to it. I think the lads have got the bit between the teeth after that second half. we were bu That's the best I've seen us play for a while. Maybe two or three games actually. Um, take the concert, the concert game were really good. So in the last couple of games, that second half was us and what we're about. And if we can take that into Shilden, you know, the, the lads have got every confidence in what we're doing and what and how we're building to, up towards the end of the season. So we're going there. I know Shilden won today, so they'll be full of confidence. So I'm looking forward to a good game.